Hi and welcome. Uh, this video is going to demonstrate how to create a line drawing in the AutoCAD interface within uh, DTool System Integrator 2015. Uh, to do that, go to Start, Projects, Manage Projects. And here in the uh, Project Explorer, select a project that you've checked out to yourself. And we'll go ahead and create a uh, new AutoCAD file. Uh, this time we'll do it here. New AutoCAD drawing. And we're going to select Line. You see that it names after the project file, line one. Uh, if you want to change that, go right ahead. Hit OK, and this is going to launch in AutoCAD. And uh, here in the AutoCAD interface, you can see there's the uh, project editor, as well as uh, your product list and your uh, block library. And of course, the rest of AutoCAD back here. And uh, for this example, we'll go ahead and pull over a product uh, from the uh, project editor in this case over to the AutoCAD sheet here and you see what you get is a very simple um, block here uh, in fact this is uh, almost identical to the the plan blocks that drop uh, when you're doing a plan drawing with a floor plan behind here to represent where things are going um, a line uh, drawing in our software here again it uses this very simple icon and you could draw lines or connectors between them. If you're just trying to get your head around a system or just show the flow of a system, again, you're not going to get any detailed connection information off of these particular blocks. So uh, it's up to you whether you're going to do one of these uh, sheets or not inside of the software. Um, but the blocks themselves do have some properties associated with them. And if you uh, hit control one on your keyboard, you can pull up the uh, properties window here. And when you select the block here, you can see that there's um, the ability to uh, rotate the block and smart rotate the component ID, which is down here. Uh, there's also handles on the page for that as well. Um, you could change like the mount type, for instance. Uh, by default, this is showing a ceiling mount, but uh, there's different block um, looks or feels, if you will. <laughs> if you go to floor mount, you can see there's two um, outlines now. And if you go to wall mount, it puts like a little T off to the side there. Um, so it'd be up to you if you, again, want to do this drawing page, but keep in mind you do have the properties here that you can adjust as well.